With joystick in hands and quadrocopter on the monitor, a group of three cadets complete training on a simulator before starting real flights. This is already our fourth day of training. In these four days we have learned a lot of interesting information, which we quickly absorbed. The instructors prefer not to give their names and hide their faces behind balaclava. The focus of the center is aerial recognizance training. They fly quadrocopters, the most popular unmanned aerial vehicles in the Army. We have training specifically in aerial reconnaissance, that is, artillery adjustment, mortar adjustment and other weapons. Aerial reconnaissance is essentially the eyes of the army. Without aerial reconnaissance, FPV can take off either. There is no age limit here at all, meaning both young and older people can come. The older people are even better at flying unmanned aerial vehicles. The cadets are allowed to fly at the polygon only after passing the test. Each student must assemble the drone by himself and make it ready. Drone is deployed. Everything is OK. Now, what can we do? Start it up. Go ahead. They work in pairs. One is the navigator and the other one is drone operator. It's stable enough. It's not going anywhere. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? The cadets practice quadrocopter control for a whole day. We are now being trained on the DJI Mini 2 drone. It's a reconnaissance UAV. It is cheaper than Mavic, but the camera is the same. It can fly up to 7 kilometers from the operator, but it is enough for training. Now they will perform figures. After that, they will search for objects. The instructors say that during training, they give the cadets basic knowledge. The aerial recognizance officers improve their knowledge directly in their units, depending on their tasks. In a time like this, during war, you must to learn it because it's the eyes, so it's 100% necessary. There is an evolution of everything in warfare and now UAVs are a very cool thing and everyone should be able to use them. A training center for drone operators has been functioning in Lutsk since December last year. During this time, more than 50 drone pilots have been trained here. Half of them were current servicemen. After training, civilians can join the ranks of the army at will. Some of the graduates join combat brigades, such as the 3rd Assault Brigade and Azov. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Denis Filuk, UATV News.